Uh, if you're listening to the radio in the car, you are, are going to hear the country music. Now, I happen to like a lot of stuff. It's just so happy. Way down yonder on the Chattahoochee, never knew how much a muddy water meant to me. Well, <laughs> Looks like I'm having a seizure up here. <laughs> I think you have to live in the South to write a song like that. I don't think you could write that song if you live in Brooklyn. Way up yonder on the Hudson River, body parts are floating right up next to me. Well, I seen me some tires and some chemical waste. A fish gave me the burden, then he spit in my face. Hey, dear. Well, howdy there, everybody. This is Kevin, and welcome back to the Country Music Time Machine. You know, we've made almost 100 videos here on this channel, and honestly, there is no scientific method we use to come up with the ideas for these videos. The videos for every year of country music history, well, they're obvious, 1940 to 2023. The country music special episodes are just what is important in the historical aspect of our great music. But sometimes I just get bored and I just want to have a little fun. That's exactly what happened when I made the first episode of the craziest country music songs. I did it because I just enjoy the ability for country music singers and songwriters to do crazy things. I never really thought it would be as popular as it is, but boy, was I wrong. It has struck a chord. That's an A chord, I think. It has gotten thousands of views and loads of comments. Not all the comments were good. Like this one over on the Twitter slash X page. She says, I look like a funeral home director. Well, Ange, thanks for the comment, but I promise that I'm not a sourpuss in real life. I guess I spent too much time as a news reporter back in my old radio days, and I got that serious look. But we are having fun, and in my heart, I'm smiling, and that's why we keep the fun rolling, by doing episode two of the Craziest Country Music Songs. We got so many viewers on episode one, I can finally pay for all the equipment used here on the Country Music Time Machine with a special commercial sponsor. Let's go to a commercial break right now. So uh, take it away, Junior. Hi, friend. Honest this is a day as long samples here. Folks, I don't mind telling you I made a bundle pushing used cars. And starting this weekend, I'm passing my profits on to you. Come on down to the lot and ask one of our salesmen out of on parole to work out some terms for you. That's BR549. And hold down the collect calls. I'm no Rockefeller, you know. Thank you so much, Junior Samples. As always, please support the Country Music Time Machine and our ability to tell the story of country music history by liking and subscribing, and always tell all your crazy friends about us. The first episode was a fun one to do, but reading the comments, the reaction of you folks was even more fun for me. And as always, most of you are much smarter than I am and have a better memory than I have too. And most of these crazy songs on this episode are the ones based on your input. The first song is another one from the amazing and crazy Jerry Reed. We could probably do an entire episode on Jerry's crazy songs, but many folks chimed in about other Jerry Reed songs that they love, and this song was mentioned a bunch. The Bird was a crazy song. It reached number two on the country chart. The story of the song unfolds through the eyes of a blue-collar man who stops by a roadside inn. A smooth salesman strides in, accompanied by an intriguing bird companion perched on his shoulder. The salesman proudly extols the melodious talents of the bird. Well, my throat was dry and it is a getting late. I was at this bar on an interstate when a guy with this bird on his shoulder walked through the door. Yeah, he proceeded to tell me the wildest thing. He said, sir, this bird of mine can sing like no other bird you have ever heard before. Well, I kind of looked at the guy and said, oh, really? He turned to the bird and said, do old Willie. When the bird started singing, I almost fell in the floor. Whiskey River, take my mind. Don't let a memory talk to me. Whiskey River, don't run dry. I hear all I've got, they tell me. 
Next up on our list will take us way back to 1965, and it was a number one country hit for Little Jimmy Dickens. Thanks to Mr. Karaoke Cowboy for recommending this great song. May the Bird of Paradise Fly Up Your Nose was also a hit on the pop chart. So take it away, Jimmy. One fine day as I was walking down the street By the bigger man with racks upon his feet Took a penny from my pocket In his tin cup I did drop it And I heard him say as I made my retreat Made the bird of paradise fly up your nose Next up on our list is the perfect country and western song. You get it? A lot of folks agree that it should be on this episode. As you see on the screen from this user, the song was released in 1975 and was written by Steve Goodman and John Prine, even though the incredible John Prine didn't take any credit for it. And it was sung by this fellow. No, the one on the left. That's me on the right. That's me with David Allen Coe back when I was much younger and actually had hair. And it's one of the best written and crazy country songs in country music history. I realized that my friend had written the perfect country and western song. And I felt obliged to put it out as my new record. The last verse goes like this here. I was drunk, hey my mom, got out of prison. And I went pick her up in the rain But before I get to the station in my pickup truck She got run over by a damned old train And I'll hang around as long as you will let me Now let's talk about a song about cow poop. That's actually a cookie you see on the screen there, a cookie called a cow patty. Now the song isn't really about cow poop, but the title is. The great reviewer Robert Curtin suggested we include Jim Stafford's crazy song, Cow Patty, released in 1981. Once you hear it, it's really hard to get out of your mind. Do you remember that this song was on the movie soundtrack? For Clint Eastwood's Any Which Way You Can, let's listen to a little cow patty. From the good lands came the cowgirl, Patty was her name. Hot on the trail of that killer, on a moped she called Flame. Cause the killer had killed her daddy just for spitting in the road. And you only had to kill Patty's daddy once to get that gal P.O.'d. <laughs> To get us in the mood for the next song, here is a little Johnny Cash humor from the great Gary Mule Deer. The taste of love is sweet when hearts like ours meet. I feel for you like a child. Oh, but the fire went wild. I fell in. Once again, another country icon that had a great sense of humor was the man in black, Johnny Cash. 
was released in 1984 and peaked at number 45. I said, stick them up, everybody, I'm robbing this place. Drop all of your money in my guitar case. Don't nobody move and don't nobody reach for that door. A lady said, why, you're Johnny Cash. I said, no, ma'am. I'm the Manhattan Flash, and I am the best bank robber in New York. Well, I don't pay any income tax. You don't pay tax on money you steal. You ought to catch that Johnny Chicken show. Chicken in black. Mm. For the next song, we go back to 1966 with funny man Roger Miller. Roger had plenty of funny songs, but I love this one just because of the title. My uncle used to love me, but she died. It doesn't sound as strange today as it did back in 1966, because today your uncle might just be your aunt. I say aunt because I'm from the South, but others say aunt. Well, hey there, Bruce. I mean, Caitlin. I guess Caitlin may be someone's aunt now. I studied the lyrics of this song, but after studying it for a little while, I have no idea what it means. But anyway, from Roger, it's always great, so let's play a little of it right now. My uncle used to love me, but she died. The chicken ain't chicken till it's looking good fried. Keep on the sunny side. My uncle used to love me, but she died. Who will did me quarter, 30 cents for a ring of keys, 365 for a dollar bill of groceries. I'll have me a car of my own someday, but till then I need me a ride. My uncle used to love me, but she died. My uncle used to love me, but she died. A chicken ain't chicken till it's flicking good fried. Keep on a sunny side. My uncle used to love me, but she died. If I do 100 episodes of the craziest country songs, I am sure Ray Stevens will be featured on all of them. Here is one I remember playing on the radio back in the 1980s. In the 1980s, the world was not as politically correct as it is today. Take a look at these lyrics. It's me again, Margaret. Hello, is this Margaret? I know it's you, Margaret. Are you naked? That does sound a little strange. But back then, we were not as easily offended. It's me again, Margaret. <laughs> They got me, Margaret. <laughs> you ain't gonna miss me, Margaret. I know that. <laughs> but I'll miss you. <laughs> and when I get out, Margaret, I'm gonna come over there with a weed eater and a live chicken <laughs> and some cool whip. <laughs> we'll have a big old time, Margaret. <laughs> Why, yes, ma'am, you can post bond right over here. Mr. McBain, please. Well, that'll be $350. And, uh, how much for those handcuffs? The next song on the list I did play on the radio back in the day as well. Pinkard and Balden could be considered the Weird Al Yankovic of country music. They specialized in funny parody songs and were the first country comedy act to have explicit warnings on its albums and were banned from the old Nashville network. They had songs like She Thinks I Still Cars from the George Jones classic, She Thinks I Still Care, Libyan on a Jet Plane, I Lobster But Never Flounder. But my favorite is the remake of the Judge song. From 1984, here is Mama, She's Lazy. Mama, she's lazy, lazier than me. And on my couch is where she says she's always gonna be. She's never swept the floor since she swept off my feet Mama, she's lazy 
sexier than me. And finally, of all the comments I got on Crazy Country Songs Episode 1, this song was mentioned the most. First off, to those out there not old enough to know, let me explain what a drop kick is. In the game of football, a drop kick is when a football player intentionally drops the ball, lets it hit the ground, then kicks it to score points. In the old days of the NFL, this was more common as the ball back then was more round. The last successful drop kick in the NFL happened on January 1st, 2006, when Doug Flutie of the New England Patriots did it on the last play of his career. Before that, you have to go back to 1941. So what does that have to do with a crazy country song? Well, for some strange and crazy reason, Bobby Bear had a hit with the song, Drop Kick Me Jesus, through the goalpost of life. An incredible song title. It was a minor hit for Bobby Bear in 1976, and apparently it is President Bill Clinton's favorite country song. This song has the words that it has Jesus playing as a divine football player. Reading the lyrics, I guess you could say this is a positive song. In this crazy world we have today, some would say we need more Jesus in our life, right? I got the wheel, Lord, if you got to tow. Now, lowly bench warmer, I'm contented to be. Until the time you have need of me to flash on the scoreboard that shines upon high in the big Super Bowl way up in the sky. Drop kick me, Jesus, to the goalpost of life. In over in the left, not right. Straight through the heart of them righteous uprights. Drop kick me, Jesus, to the goalpost of life. Yeah, drop kick me, Jesus, to the goalpost of life. Well, that's all we have for you for episode two of some of the craziest country songs in country music history. You know what to do. If you want episode three, pop your comments below for your favorite crazy country songs. And if you can't post a message below, you can also call our number. That's right. We got a phone number now. What's that number, Junior? That's BR549. And hold down the collect cold. I'm no Rockefeller, you know. Thanks, Junior. Until next time, this is Kevin. Let's keep it crazy, and let's keep it country, right here on the Country Music Time Machine.